It's Christmas Eve, and no doubt you've already planned your menu for Christmas Day dinner. But have you thought about what you're going to do with all those leftovers? Well, we have a great idea from Alveda King, niece of Dr. Martin Luther King, and creator of Gigi's Home for the Holidays Cookbook. Welcome. It's great to have Welcome, you with Gigi. us again. You're Gigi, I'm Gigi. <laughs> That's right. All right. <laughs> we hit it off from the start. Mm -hmm. So... First of all, you have a big clan gathering, so it's wonderful to be able to have something special after the fact with everybody. You keep celebrating, even from Thanksgiving all, all the year, way to Christmas and beyond, to right? New Year's Eve. Well, so today, what are we going to do? Well, we have our chili, and in our family, some are vegetarians and some eat meat. So you can have your beef, your turkey, your jackfruit, which is a good protein substitute. That was I guess new tofu one to will me. work, but we've never used the tofu. We we do the jackfruit, uh -huh. and so but all of the other basic ingredients of chili. Okay, so. Right now, we're, this is this turkey? That is the ground turkey. Ground and turkey so sausage. I'm saying Some people say you have just too much turkey, but <laughs> you, <laughs> we eat a lot of turkey, though. We do, too. So I that love is, that. There's, you're going to just brown that a little more with your olive oil. Okay. And then while that's going on and it's finishing browning, you're going to have your butter. Pan's a little hot, so you might hear the butter kind of sizzle, sizzle a little, little bit. It goes in just a bit. Goes. And then all of... Oh, now, yeah. we are sensitive... Yeah, yeah, if we can get it now. Yeah. We're sensitive to tomatoes, so that's parsnips. Parsnips? That's parsnips. another new one for me. If, I learned from you when you come. There are other come. things you can do. Oh, boy. Remember last time we well, had yeah. a facial when we did yeah. this. The steam <laughs> came up. And hey, it, that works for me. A beautification <laughs> process at the same time. Okay. But anyway... So you've got chickpeas in there? Again... Tomato shy, but you can use your squash, your various squashes. This is butternut squash. I love it. Give you almost the squash. same texture of a tomato, believe it or not, when it cooks down. Now, somebody says, well, how is it going to thicken if you can't use tomatoes? Your squash puree or your uh, sweet, sweet potato potatoes. puree. Yeah. Puree puree. Okay. How do you say it? Tomato, tomato, puree <laughs> puree. Okay, so you begin to stir this up while the turkey is browning. Mm -hmm. That's and you get that puree heavenly. down in there really quick. Yeah. And, and and we use onions. We like a, like real onions and celery. Mm -hmm. And then I want to make sure that's your celery chopped already. You can buy it chopped or chop it yourself, depending on how much time you have. Ooh, here they come. Onions, my favorite. <laughs> onions are good for this you, This is too. what makes it smell so wonderful onions when it's cooking, and right? garlic are good yes. for you, very healthy. Now, it's beginning to thicken, so we want to put our broth in. Okay. Half in now and half at the end. So okay. that's your broth. And you do that till you get the consistency that you want and it begins to bubble and cook. So all you're right. kind of gauging Look at it, as it you go. Isn't oh, it pretty? It's beautiful. It's already becoming what yes. it should be. And then um, the that seasonings. So parsley, fresh parsley. Mm -hmm. I like mushrooms a lot. We, I we love enjoy mushrooms. mushrooms. Yes, I do. All right, too. And, and there's another really quick point, and then we're ready to put that turkey in. I'm going to ask you to do that and stir it in, in a second. Go ahead and put the turkey in okay, if you want to mind while we gather the rest. Whoa! And, whoa. <laughs> okay. Got a little trigger happy Came with the turkey. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, cori coriander. Hey, coriander is a special seasoning that really oh, makes yes. things delicious. Celery seed. Mm, that's really kind of one of your secret dish. ingredients. Celery seed it? is. You got your turmeric. Ooh. And gives that's it, gives good us for a new you. color. Boy. It's very good for so all of these are healthy yes. spices. Um, are nutmeg, you... believe it or not. It is not mm. only for baking, it helps savory dishes Put a as little well. Zing in there. Okay. And um wow. cloves. Hmm. Believe it or not, cloves wow. will work in this dish. This is rich with all kinds of... What is uh, that? Antioxidants. Now? That's your garlic. Ooh. Your garlic and your onions. And everybody notice, put enough chili powder to give it flavor. Holy smokes! And I this mean is that. about a half a cup. <laughs> but no, I, I, maybe it's excessive, but it really makes it taste good. Wow. And as you continue to stir, let's go okay. ahead. Okay. With the Ooh. rest of the broth. Oh, Isn't that wonderful? Goodness. Isn't that amazing? It is just So we're going to cook that for about 40 minutes. Wow. And then you have, I notice over here, a delicious salad that you serve this with. Okay, just the, dump okay. that spoon over there then, and we'll kind of look at that salad. Okay. Okay. Um, the beets are very healthy. 
the beets are very healthy. Oh, yes. And then yeah. you've got the various types of squash there in the spirals because you can get yes. those easily. We, we actually have the, the spiral, spiral things at home thing to deal with yeah. it. And your kale and all of that. That's the zucchini it's, squash the there. The color's so beautiful in it, isn't all it? All during the holidays. If it's colorful, it's good yes. for you. And here, the piece de resistance. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Gluten-free cornbread for us because we're gluten-free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But your favorite cornbread, always yes. make that. that so that's the dish. Awesome. And it's very delicious. It feeds as many people as you need to feed. Let's show them the finished product over okay. here. Look how beautiful this looks when you serve Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And here it is with its little sour cream in the top and some some fresh parsley on top and the cornbread, and then you've got some amazing Okay, now cookies. absolutely. I've got to see if this is, if it came out. Mm. Yes. Perfecto. Yeah, of course it's okay, perfecto. Absolutely. And here we have red velvet cookies. Mm -hmm. And Madeleines, Madeleines. The delicious Madeleines. And if you had too much sugar for the holidays and all of that, your sparkling water and your lemon. And your lemon. Perfect. Everything is so beautiful, so amazingly tasty, and perfect for your family. Alvita's book is called Gigi's Home for the Holiday Cookbook, and it's available wherever books are sold. Plus, you can log on to CBN.com to get this recipe for Gigi's Festive Chili. You'll get no complaints about leftovers with this dish. Awesome to have you with us. Again. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club right after this.